bunches of toolboxes. We're going to back the truck in because this stuff is heavy. We'll do a toasty start. Ooh, it's toasty. Watch stuff. Already 88 degrees. Beautiful thing. So here's the pile of parts that I assembled off my most recent eBay purchase. You're looking at what 65 US American dollars will get you shipped to your front door. This is a uh, quick detachable brackets. This is a luggage rack and this is a backrest sissy bar. Well, it's not really sissy bar. We're just going to call it a backrest. You guys know me. You know, if I'm not anything, I'm two things. I'm cheap and I'm stubborn. And I'm stubborn in that I like this size back pad. This thing is tiny and it's built well. I wanted a good quality backrest and I wanted the small pad backrest. For my year, which is a 2007 FXDBI, which is a Dyna Street Bob injection, injected, fuel injected, derp, uh, the backrest that you buy for these things, the quick, the quick release backrests are huge. They're like the size of this luggage rack. They're huge. And if you've got one of those on your bikes, that's fantastic. But that's not fantastic for me. That's, that's not what I'm looking for. I like this style. Now, can I get this style for this year bike? 2006 and newer, the Dynas went with a wider back fender. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it's a two inch at least with difference between the two, something to that effect. All I know is this one ain't gonna fit, but I like the style of this one. So what do I do? Well, instead of spending several, several hundred dollars, three, four, five hundred bucks for a good quality backrest, um, I get on the old eBay and I buy the wrong one and I'll make it fit to my right one. So this is a backrest off a 2001 FXDL and we're gonna take the bracket and I'll show you. Let's walk over to my baby. My baby, and let's see what we have here. And none of this chrome matters because it's gonna get powder coated black when all said and done. I'm gonna be doing some chopping, some lathing, some welding, and it's going flat black. Um, or maybe a matte black, we'll see. The nice thing about the 01 FXDL is that it has the same bolt spacing as this 2007 Dyna. So I measured bolt center to bolt center and we're the same, so that's good. Now, am I going to buy the hardware? I don't know. Honestly, I don't even know what the hardware runs. 50 bucks, 75 bucks, 100 bucks. Isn't that what HD stands for? $100? $100. If you want anything, bust out another $100. Uh, so I don't even know what the, what the mounting kit runs for these detachable because I didn't look because I don't care. It comes with wider spacers, comes with longer bolts. The spacers have a notch cut in it. Well, if you, if you know already, I've got a lathe and I can make my own damn notches. So I'm going to cut a slice into that one. And then I have to size this back spacer to where this quick release, which uh, goes over the post, right? Locks into the post with this guy here. Keep you from losing your passenger. And it's not that I'm doing this for a passenger per se. And, and again, I'm not doing it for a passenger. I'm doing it for the fact that I can get a luggage rack on here in the event I want to do a day trip or I need to carry stuff with me. Now, I've had a lot of friends try to talk me, quote unquote friends, <laughs> try to talk me into saddlebags. I am not interested in saddlebags. The whole purpose for me of a motorcycle is the freedom of being able to just jump on it with what you have on your back and what you have stuffed in your pockets and go. That's the way I've always felt Camping should be, that's the way I always felt. Motorcycles should be, you know, people that go camping with these fancy trailers that have microwaves and flat screen TVs, I, I don't get that. I don't understand that, but that's just me. If you have a camper with a flat screen TV and a microwave and you like it, fantastic, more power to you. If you've got a Harley that you can put your makeup in and your purse and a pair of nylons in, that's fantastic. I don't want saddlebags. I don't want any of that. I think this bike looks sexy the way it is with that narrow little tail section. Woo! This is a good looking bike, and I don't want to clutter that up with this with a set of saddlebags. I don't care how cool everybody thinks it is. This is my bike. I do with it what I please. So with that being said, this fits in here like that. I'm going to cut a notch. I'm going to clip that there. See if I can do this without scratching any paint. Oh, well, it's going to scratch paint, so we're going to set that down. I want this backrest, when all said and done, to sit right about there. 
roughly there which should be uh, that should be fine because then that'll put these the luggage rack just out over the rear uh, license plate there's no front license plate just over the license plate so I want this to sit about here like that and if I do get somebody that wants to ride on here that way they won't slide off the back and it's got to be a gal no nuts to butts um, but yeah so let's let's just get this going enough talking I'm gonna have to widen this I think I think the fenders are about two inches wider two and a quarter inches wider 05 and older 06 and newer, which is what I have, is the wider one. So I'm going to have to do some cutting and finagling to stretch this out. I think, initially, I think that's what I'm going to do. I've got this out of my hoard, same size. I'm going to have to split and stretch the luggage rack. This one's going to be a little different because this is hollow. But I have a TIG welder and a grinder and uh, access to a powder coating machine. So I'm going to set you down. I'm going to get to work. Less talking, more cutting. And this is going to be a multi-stage multi-day task not because it's going to have 26 hours into it but because it's like seven o'clock right now after work and i'm running out of daylight so but i did want to get this initial video going because half the time i get a quarter of the way or halfway through a project and i haven't picked up the camera and even gotten any film going so then i just finished the project without taking any video but this might be fun so out of solid stainless steel thanks to my hoard i made the little slugs I believe this will work well for the docking hardware, I think. I don't know. I didn't look at the stuff you can buy because I don't really care. Because I need it to fit my application, not some generic application that you get on the interweb. So, yeah, I cut the heck out of my finger too. Stainless steel is very sharp when it comes off in these slivers and you pull on it and then it gets... Oh yeah, that's a good one. So, let's, uh, let's install this. Um, we'll swing you guys around to the front of the house and... Uh, yeah, let's see how it works. how it spreads drew some lines on there to make sure this was parallel centered spaced because it has to be symmetrical if it's not symmetrical I'll chop it up and throw it in the scrap pile <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and clean 
all the surfaces, bevel all the edges, we'll tack it in place and we'll see how we go. stretch these legs out here. I'm probably going to put a little putty in there. I don't know. I'm going to check with my powder coater to see if he recommends that. Um, if not, I'll just do a little more massaging with the flapper wheel to get it smooth. But let me show you how this releases. This is all tight. All these are tight. These are the posts that stick all the way through so the luggage rack can clip to this. And I'm going to go actually grab the luggage rack because I need to split it. But let me show you how easy this thing comes and goes. Because I'm not normally going to run with this thing. This is only going to be putting a lot of time into something I'm probably rarely going to use. It's only going to be if I uh, if I have guests or if I want to strap down some my day bag or something. But put some like the front clips in. Trying very hard not to scratch anything. Make sure you're lined up on the pins. Clip it in. Pretty friggin' sturdy. Ta da! And careful. Okay. So that's how we're going to leave it for the night. I've got about five hours into this right now. Not that I pay attention to the hours because it's it's more fun than anything. And in the end, I get what I want. This thing fits quite nicely. Quite nicely. I am going to put some filler on here. A little bondito. Um, the diameter of this square tube, the solid square tube, is a little bit less. 
that's an easy putty job because it's all nice flat surfaces so I'm going to do that. I was able to replicate the bend in this, I'm, I'm sure you saw it, the hydraulic press. Got a nice bend in that solid stuff. The rest of this is, this is all hollow. The backrest itself is solid, but I'm really happy with how that came out. I'll get all the body all nice and pretty on it, and then I'll send it out to get powder coated. Because chrome is not my thing, and I kind of boogered up the chrome when I welded on it. But that's pretty good. I'm going to go fit it on the bike, but that's enough for tonight. Part two, part two will show the body work and the finished product. Maybe even the powder coating process if I can uh, sweet talk myself into that deal. All right, that's it. Got to go. Got to run. See you.